Hey everyone and welcome to my winter midnight tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this really fun look using the brand new holiday set from Too Faced. I'll let you know my review and opinion on that. So let's get to it. So to get into this tutorial we need to prime our face. I am currently loving the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. It is so good guys. It is my new favorite. Now for foundation, I am going in also with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This stuff is so good. I am almost out guys. So just pump a little bit on the back of your hand. This is full coverage guys. I love full coverage. Taking the foundation brush, I just wet it a little bit so now it's time to go in. And now you just want to take your beauty sponge and blend that out. Next, we are going to take our concealer. I am using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And like I've said before, guys, you want to dot it in a triangle instead of just putting too much product on and dragging it. Taking our little cake and bake sponge, we blend that out. Alrighty, we are now going to set that. Once again, taking the same sponge, and I am taking my wonderful Peach Perfect setting powder. This stuff is the best. Not only does it have a great finish, but it also smells amazing, guys. And just taking a fluffy facial brush, I am setting the rest of my face. Alrighty, well that bakes, we get to do our brows. Alrighty, and I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Chocolate. As you can well see. It has a dark shade and a light shade, but for me, I like a more multi-dimensional look. So I like to blend both shades together on my brush and then apply it to my brows. Now that the brows are done, it is time to dust off the baking on our face. I'm just taking another large fluffy facial brush and just dusting it off. Now you want to be gentle because you don't want to be too rough with it. If you are, then you can disturb the layers that we just put down of powder, of foundation, of concealer. Okay, and moving on to bronzer. I am actually taking my Best Year Ever Holiday Collection from Too Faced, the Boss Lady, and I am taking the palette. Look at all that, guys. Look at all that. I'm going to be taking the bronzing shade and using that the bronzing brush.
I am taking now a defining eye brush. Even though it says defining eye brush, I use it to contour my nose because of the special shape of the brush head. What you want to do is you want to take the straight part of the brush, the narrower part, and just use that to contour. And then to blend it out, you turn it sideways, to turn it wide, and blend it out to make sure there's no harsh edges. Also guys, this brush was only a dollar at Target, so it's a really good brush. And of course, y'all know that I like to cut my contour. So I am taking the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder, taking my Cake and Bake sponge, and we are just going to let that bake, and when we finish all the powders on our face, then we shall move on. Also taking that same powder. I'm just going to use it as a brightening powder. Beauty of makeup, guys. One product can have multiple functions, and that is wonderful. Now, moving on to the blush. Will you marry me? It is like, I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is so pretty. It, it's real pink with almost like a peachy tint to it. It is shimmery. It is a gorgeous shade. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. So now, of course, it is time for highlight. Using my little trademark trick here, I'm using the NYX Away We Glow in Crystal Glare. Put a little bit on, blend it out. And since this is a liquid, I like to actually set it with another highlighter. Taking my fan brush and taking hashtag blessed. And look at that, guys. Look at that highlight. Dust off that baking. And now it's time to move on to the eyes. Alrighty, so I am priming my eyelids with the one and only, y'all know, the Ulta Eye Primer in Champagne. And we are going to set that. Taking Marshmallow, we are just going to set our eyes with that. Guess what? We have a special guest. It's little cuddles. Hi everybody. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, I love you, honey. Bye y'all. Next up, we are taking the love actually. Teeny tiny amount. What I do wish, I wish there was a mirror like right here. That would be greatly appreciated. Just warm up your lid shape and your crease. Next, we are going in with faux fur only. And we are creating a halo eye today. So 
good to create a halo eye. You are going to take your darker shades and apply them on the inner and outer corner. Normally we would just apply them on the outer corner, but you want to make sure to connect them. Next up, we are taking this color. It's not too polite, so I won't say the name. But you really want to warm that up. Going in with an even more defined brush, I am taking Santa's Helper. Now taking a fluffy brush, we are taking the shade Christmas Carol, which is right next to Santa's helper, and filling in that little space. And you just want to kind of blend in the edges. As you can see, there's actually a bit of fallout on this palette but thankfully we can just sweep that away a clean brush and with a very light hand sweep it you may have a little left but that's okay I'll show you how to fix that take your peach perfect powder again Grab your concealer, take your finger, and pat it on. Once again, going back with that Peach Perfect Setting Powder. All right, so I have finished my other eye off camera and touched up anywhere that had fallout. Going once again with Santa's helper, we are just going to create an under halo eye. So we want to put that on the outer and the inner. Once again, leaving that little halo space. Oh, and I am also using this smudge brush this is a very nice tip going in with Christmas Carol that blue shade and putting that in the middle alrighty it is now time to line our eyes I am taking the NYX professional epic ink eyeliner there we go Y'all know this is my jam. And since we have such dark shades, I'm going to use a light color in my waterline. I'm taking the Tarte Bake Awake. I love it. It goes on so smooth. And the pigmentation is incredible. Okay, I've curled my lashes off camera, and so now I am taking the mascara that came with it. As you all know, this is their famous one. It is really good. I prefer the waterproof, but I'm doing a whole kind of first impressions of this set. I have, however, used this mascara before, the regular kind. 
and I love it. Tell me in the comments below guys, what's your favorite part about winter? For me, I would have to say probably the holidays and the cooking. I love cooking and baking. I love holidays. It's just so much fun. Now taking a smaller brush, I am taking the shade Halo and putting that as my inner tear duct highlight. Now I am grabbing the shade Snow Day and we are highlighting our brow with that. Now we are taking our Peach Blur from Too Faced. It is a blurring powder and you want to put that all over the face for a wonderful glow. I love this stuff. It doesn't dim your highlight, it doesn't dim your contour, it makes everything look so beautiful as you guys can see. Now for the lips, I am taking the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick that came in the holiday package. I've never tried these before so I'm real excited. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's such a pretty color. And even though it's a matte, it doesn't make my lips feel dry. That color though, that color guys. I'm genuinely impressed taking my setting spray, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Set that in place and we are good. And that is it guys. I hope you liked my sparkly winter midnight look. I love it. As for the review of the Too Faced, I like the colors. I do think there is a bit much fallout, but it is worth it. Also, with the Melted Matte, obsessed, love it, love it. Also, thank you guys so, so much for watching, love you guys, bye! And a super quick shout out to my friend Hannah, she made this thumbnail. Isn't she talented, guys? All her social media is linked down below. Go check her out. She is awesome.